All right, All now right, this. Francis. Concussions can now be detected with a new blood test approved by the FDA. Dr. Mark Siegel, Fox News medical correspondent, joins us now. All right, Dr. Siegel, what does this mean? Well, there's something called the Banyan Brain Trauma Indicator. Now, it's a test where you're looking at blood tests, Charles, two proteins that tend to go up when you have damage to the brain. The Pentagon studied this for us. They looked at 2,000 people, and they found that there's over a 95% sensitivity, meaning 95% of the time, if you have damage to the brain, you're going to see these proteins go up. You know what that means for us? With 2.8 million visits every year for head trauma to the emergency room, we're going to know more. Who should we do a CAT scan on and who shouldn't we? Who should we do an MRI on and who shouldn't we? Because if these proteins are up, you may have actual brain damage. If these proteins aren't up, you may not. So a lot of times we overdo these tests, and this may decrease our a tendency to overdo the test. I don't want people out there to think that you couldn't have a concussion anyway. In other words, you could have okay. a concussion, right. no actual brain trauma, brain damage, bleeding in the brain, or some kind of lesion in the brain. You could still have a mild concussion and have these proteins not be elevated. But if they're up, we worry. And that's something that the FDA has now given us as an additional tool. Imagine that. A simple blood test that will tell us we better scan you. So the applications for this, uh, you know, it, it, can we be proactive with this? Can't, you know, I, it, it's so interesting because you're saying perhaps fewer MRIs and unnecessary tests, but will this also, could this be applied to people who may not know uh, that they have any sort of trauma or any sort of, uh, uh, you know, damage to their brains. It, it, it could be a preventative measure as well. Hugely important point you made. The military devised this for use in combat, but it's going to be very, very important in high school football fields. 50,000 deaths among those 2.8 million I talked about. 50,000 deaths in emergency rooms from trauma that maybe wasn't realized. So somebody gets clocked. I'm going to be able to say, get them in, get them scanned right away, and keep them off the field. Because a lot of times, the problem with concussions is people go right back on and keep playing right. again. And right. so with this, we'll know more evidence to keep them off the field. That's key. Great news. Doc Siegel, thank you very much. Good to Always see you, Charles.